Hogwarts Legacy had a lot to prove, promoting itself as a Harry Potter dream game, but from a studio who hasn't worked on a project anywhere near this big before. Now, the first reviews are in for Hogwarts Legacy, and early scores are, quite high indeed. On both Open Critic and Metacritic, Hogwarts Legacy has an 86 with a few dozen reviews in. While perhaps not 90 plus with the material, an 86 is a very, very solid average in the larger context of the industry, a place which is sometimes used to give developers bonuses if they landed above an 85. A Jin US, Spain and Portugal gave it an I, 9, 5 and 10 respectively. Here's an excerpt from IGN US's scored review The elephant in the room was this growing narrative that some in the liberal skewing games media would score the game poorly because of JK Rowling's history of transphobic comments. That does not seem to be the case. In fact, in 10 of the bigger reviews I've read, only one even mentioned her at all. Overwhelmingly, the focus is purely on the content of the game itself which generally is being described as something that is likely going to satisfy most Potter fans as a fantasy RPG based in the famed wizarding world. Where faults are found, it's in things like enemy variety, UI, simplistic side quests and other issues that plague many modern games. But it's described as immersive and of course magical as an overall experience. 